Many dive shops provide continuing education and training, making diving safer and more fun while expanding the possibilities for the modern diver. Much has changed recently, and with a greater understanding of breathing gases and decompression theory, deep realms are now being explored by a new type of sport diver. The next few dives will require special training, special equipment, and special preparation. I'm aboard the Escapade, one of Dive Central's finest boats, with our friend Captain Jim Capwell. Jim, can you tell us a little about what we're going to do today? Well, welcome aboard, Susan. Thank you. Why don't you guys get your gear loaded, and we'll talk a little bit about what's in store for us. Great. I'll go get the gang. We've got some really challenging dives planned for today, both of them in the 200-foot range. The first one is way down the Big Sur coast, offshore from Point Sur, on a huge underwater plateau that drops off into thousands of feet of water. The second dive gets its name from the uniquely shaped sponges, which remind us of elephant ears. This area sits on the Monterey Trench, and even the tops of these pinnacles are so deep that most recreational divers will never go for that far. You know, we've got a big day planned for us, so let's head on out to sea. With all of the state-of-the-art equipment loaded on board, we stow our gear and ready for the long trip south. Our team suits up and gets ready to explore places only dreamed about a few short years ago. And as we leave the protected harbor of Monterey Bay to head out into the open ocean, we discuss how extensive training has increased our diving freedom and placed many new exciting areas within easy reach of technical divers. Well, here we are, gang. We made it. We're a few miles off from Point Sur at Big Sur Banks. This is an area that you don't get to dive very often because of weather conditions, but we made it out here today, and there are acres of gorgeous hydrocoral tons of fish, and who knows what else there is to look at in these types of areas. Why don't you go ahead and jump on in and find out. Miles offshore in these spooky depths, remote, deep, and seldom seen by divers, is our favorite offshore reef dive. A place where most divers think there is nothing to be seen. Uncharted, untouched. We are 160 feet below the surface on a vast, deep plateau teetering on the edge of the Pacific depths. Once lit, the hydrocoral displays its vibrant colors. Here, the fish may have never have seen man. Unthreatened, they continue with their routines. this place were on land, you might be a bird flying around on the edge of the Grand Canyon before the dawn of time. Lights excitedly signal our camera. Suddenly we are reminded that far out here, we are no longer in the safety of a tide pool. Prehistoric places can have scary and beautiful prehistoric monsters. Diver interactions with the giant Pacific octopus are very rare. These magnificent and smart creatures measure on average about 16 feet long from arm tip to arm tip and have been known to weigh as much as 600 pounds. We are diving deeper than most divers will ever venture, but the payoff is an experience that many people will never have. Huge fields of hydrocoral, having limestone skeletons, resemble warm water corals. These purple and pink colonies of hydrocoral took many years to grow this large and are very rare.
while resting and decompressing, we feel extremely fortunate to live and dive in and around the California coast. But even as we sit and rest topside, the diving experience is complemented by the...